Protesters taking to the streets and, as you will soon see, to the water in Puerto Rico, calling for the governor there to resign after a controversial group chat between him and his associates was leaked and published. Now, some 2020 Democratic presidential candidates are weighing in. In fact, one was down in Puerto Rico in the protest. Brian Yenis joining us now. Really tough duty in San Juan, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Leland, look, there have been nine days of protests, but obviously only in Puerto Rico can you really do a protest quite like this. The people here are really fed up. I am right out here at the Bay of San Juan, right outside La Fortaleza, which is the governor's mansion. You can see the police here and the police helicopters out here in the Bay of San Juan. They are monitoring what have been protests. If we go over this way and you follow me over here, you'll see that there are kayaks and jet skis and uh, people all the way out here that have been making noise to just try to calling for Ricardo Rosselló to resign. Ricardo Rosselló has refused to do so. But this isn't the only creative way of protest here in Puerto Rico. This morning, there were protesters who had a yoga session outside La Fortaleza. The protesters said they wanted to find moment of clarity before the big day tomorrow, which is supposed to be, it could be, the largest day of demonstrations in the history of this island. Now, in terms of uh, what people are really upset about, it's not just the group chat. Frankly, a couple weeks ago, two of his top lieutenants, Rosselló's top lieutenant, were arrested by the FBI for steering some $15 million into the hands of some private unqualified contractors. You add that, plus a bunch of really um, really demeaning text messages, and you get what you have right now. We spoke to some protesters over the last few days. Take a listen. It's about bad governance. It's about corruption. It's about high-level government corruption that's costing a lot of money. It's ruining our own reputation for the American people. Um, it's unacceptable. Puerto Rico is broken right now. It's broken. And there's only a little people that are on his side. You know, there's most of us are on this side. We're fighting for him to leave. The local press is reporting that Governor Rosselló is having a meeting inside of his mansion right now with his top aides about what we do not know. But we do know that he's been sending out vi uh, photos via Twitter and Instagram as though it is business as usual, although it is anything but. The protests got really bad on that Wednesday night that you saw that video there with some tear gas. And the fear is that tomorrow could end up being that same way if Rosselló does not resign soon. The pressure is mounting from the mainland. We've got now about most of the main Democratic candidates have come out and have at least spoken about having solidarity with the Puerto Rican people, including the front-runner Vice President Joe Biden. Others have come out right away and have asked for him to resign point blank, including Representative Tulsi Gabbard, who is the only one of those candidates who is on the island over the last couple of days with the protesters. Again, uh, Leland, this is something in which is beyond those group text messages, which was essentially validating what many Puerto Ricans had felt over the last few years. Years. This island has been mired in an economic crisis over the last decade plus. Schools have been closed, hundreds of them, pensions cut, jobs lost. People are very frustrated, and what those text messages did is validate all of their frustrations that they cannot count on the government here, and they're hoping Rosselló gets the message, and they're hoping that this loud music right outside of his residence and these jet skis and the annoyance will finally push him out. It, Leland? It's noteworthy about where you're at and sort of this idyllic nature of it, and this is a uh, an area in Puerto Rico that just has not been able to get its act together financially and, as you point out, have had just continual terrible problems. Uh, Brian Yenis reporting there. We're going to watch this protest, obviously, on the jet skis, and we will watch the big protest uh, tomorrow as well.